Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, tonight I'm going through a bunch of comics and I'm going to list them on eBay, so I'm going to show you how I do it. And, I mean, you can always follow my link in the description if you're interested in any of these books, but I want to show you how I grade them and how I get the prices and all that. So, this is Black Lightning number one. First appearance of Black Lightning. There are some little, just little spine issues. Um, just a little bit of uh, spine issue here. Um, corners are decent. There's a little bit of an issue right here. But otherwise, the book is clean. Um, it's a real nice book. First appearance. Flip it over. The back's a lot nicer. Um, there's a little... Just a little, little, little bit of st stuff here. So the book's pretty clean. I mean, yeah, the spine wear and stuff like that. Inside, the, the pages are like an off-white to white. Um, then I go check the staples. The staples are good. So overall, the book's complete. So the next thing I do is, I'm, per, I'm decent with grading, so I know what I'm doing. So basically, I would say this is around fine. And so I'm going to go ahead and say fine minus. So that's like a 5.5, five, something like that. And then what I would do, I was to go to eBay and I look up, you know, what they're selling for in that condition. So I looked it up. I saw one that said VG fine, which is a 5.0. And that one sold for $27. So then I saw one that said fine on it. And that one sold for like 35 bucks. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take really good pictures of this book, the front, the back, the interior, and I'm going to list it for 30 bucks. Uh, buy it now our best offer, which is fair. I, the, the VG Fine one had, uh, it looked a lot like this. It had that little corner thing and then some spine. But on the back of the, v, the VG Fine one, there was a big stain right here, and there were some other issues. This back's a, a lot cleaner than that one. So... I'm going to put fine minus to be safe, so when the person gets it, they'll be happy with it, and I won't get a negative feedback, and uh, oh, that's how I'll do it. So this is the, in regard to grading in eBay, that's how I do it. I'll look up, You can look it up book prices and stuff like that, but in all honesty, eBay is the best way to see uh, how the market is reacting to this book in that condition. If you're good at grading, then that's how you do it. You learn over time what the book's created at. Now, I don't know, with a press or something, this could get higher than a, you know, six. I'm saying 5.5 to be safe. Uh, but yeah, so we'll do some more books in this video. So here's another one, uh, Uncanny X-Men number 158. Um, this is the first appearance of Rogue in the X-Men. And I really looked over this book. This book is really nice. Um, The spine is clean. It lays flat. A little something here. Nothing major. Oh, there's a little, just a little bit of a corner issue. But that can be easily pressed out. The only thing I could see was. I mean, it's really hard to see, to be honest with you. Right there, you see it? Just a little bit of fault, like some, where someone read it. But the color's good. The back is clean. I mean, there is some light stuff. That's just ink. This book is really clean. And the, the front pops hard, so let's go ahead and check the interior. The interior is good. Let's say, I, I'm guessing this is white pages. These little ads are cool in here, the older ads, where you can see how much people paid for certain books. Let's see if we can see something funny. Um, K 
Captain America 100. Eleven dollars. Dude, whatever, dude. What else do we have? Ooh, what's hot right now? Fantastic Four number 48. Right there? That book is super expensive. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> I love looking at these. You'd be amazed looking at these sometimes. But the staples are intact. There's no tearing or anything. This book is in really good condition. I would say it's... Honestly, you know, well, it's definitely VF to near mint. Uh, so that's like a 9.0. But I, I would even give it a near mint minus a 9.2 because the issues are very slight. And uh, so looking at sales, I mean, they range from 10 to $15. I'll probably list this one at like 15 bucks. Buy it now, best offer. Um, but the book's super clean and nice. So, you know, again, use eBay. Um, that's what I would do on this book. We'll do a couple more books. All right, next up we have X-Men number 201. That's the first appearance of Baby Cable. Well, basically the first appearance of Cable, but when he was a baby. Um, I don't know. You guys probably know that. So I looked over the book real well. There's some just very minor spine roll here. Um, that's easily fixed. If you're, you know, the color is clean, very clean book. Uh, these X-Men that I just recently got uh, have some great color. There's a little bit of a smite, I don't know, like a fingerprint or something. Uh, the color really, I mean, it's, the color pops real nice. I'm sorry about the glare on the, there you go. The color really pops on this one. Um, I mean, this book's clean. For an older book. Okay, so there's a little bit of a... Just a little bit of a corner deal. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Gotta be careful when I'm using one hand. Pages are great. I would say it's close to white pages. Staples are intact. They look very nice. So I would give this about a VF plus, which is about an 8.5. They're selling anywhere between 16 and $20. So I think this is a really nice book. I'm gonna list it $20, buy it now, best offer. Cause I like to let people make me offers. Why not, you know? So first appearance of cable. Again, you guys can always check out my eBay, follow the link. Um, I'll be listing these later. Um, I got a bunch, so I, th I feel, feel like I'll do a bunch of these videos. Um, I got another X-Men here I wanna look at, so I'll be right back. So here we got uh, X-Men number 213, classic Wolverine Sabretooth battle. Um, <clears throat> this book is really nice. There is minor spine, you know, a little bit of roll, not, it's real minor. I saw one little, Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. There's one little spine, but it doesn't break color. Um, little spinding. The book's clean all the way around. I love this book. Switch it around. It's a dark cover on the back. Everything is clean. There's a little ding right there. Another little ding. I do, it doesn't break color. Um, I was gonna give it, let's check the interior. Oh, it's definitely white pages. Let's see if we can get to the staples. Cool, black spidey. battle um, staples are good there's clean white pages I was gonna give it a near mint which is a 9.4 but with the extra couple little dings I'm gonna give it a near mint minus so that we don't have any problems with uh, buyers um, 
the books sharp I really like it um, they're going from anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks on this condition again I'll just list it at 20 bucks and let people make me an offer if they want and that's it let's see if I can find one more just for fun here we got X-Men number four um, first appearance of Omega Red a real nice copy lays flat everything's good um, See, there's just a little mark right there. It's unfortunate because this book is perfect so far. A minor thing that can be fixed. It's not that big of a deal. So, so far, so good, except for that little bitty, bitty thingy. Definitely white pages. Staples are good. Staples are good. Everything looks good. I mean, honestly, it's just that one little thing. So... Again, to be safe, and st I would say near mint, because I've seen books with one ding like that get nine sixes, which is near mint plus. And I, and I would say near mint, but to be safe on eBay, I'm gonna say near mint minus, which is a nine two. And they're going all over the place. VF near mint, or you know, it just depends. Um, one sold for VF near mint at twelve dollars. They're just kind of all over the place. So I'm going to go ahead and just put, uh, I'm just going to put 10 bucks, 10 bucks for this book. It's clean. Um, we'll see what people say. Here's a good one. Uh, King size special number one Avengers. So basically the first annual, the Avengers, Thor and Iron Man join the Avengers in this book. And I believe Mandarin, he dies apparently. So, all good. <laughs> Thor and Iron Man join in this book. Pretty interesting. So, you know, it's older. You can see the issues on the book. There's some crinkling and there's a line down. The spine, interesting enough, it's, yeah, there's issues for her king size. That looks good. I believe the 25 cent and the Avengers special, I'm not 100% sure, should be right on this part, but it does look solid, which is good for this type of book. There's some, there's a lot of, you know, it's clean, but there's a lot of wrinkling, okay? The back is doing pretty good. A little bit of, uh, it's not too dirty, but it's, I mean, the book's from 1967, okay? <laughs> Just put it that way. The light is really giving a lot away for you guys, but overall, it looks good. So let's open it up. Let's see what's really in here. The minor, it's a little bit loose right there, just barely. But in actuality, it's still attached to the, the middle part. It's just the little cut. The staples are intact, okay? You can see some of the little issue, the crinkling on the front cover. But the pages look great. I mean... Off white to white. The book looks complete. Let's flip through it a little bit. I mean, this is a cool book, man. And it's king size, so, you know, you can get a good read out of it. Apparently, like I said, oh, yeah, that's cool, Hercules. Like I said, Thorn. 
and uh, Iron Man joined the team in this book. Kind of weird if all you movie watchers are like, well, well, aren't they the beginning of the Avengers? I guess not. Back is good. So, this is a real tough one. All the crinkling and stuff makes it tough. Overall, the book's really nice, okay? But just the crinkling on the cover, um, a little bit of stuff here. But, God, I would love to say VG. But I'm just going to say VG minus to be safe because of the crinkling on the cover. I don't know, maybe a three to a four. It's really tough. Really tough. Maybe I'll say three to four. So, you know, give a, a nice, because the interior is so good, give a nice round thing. You guys decide, you know, three to four on eBay. I'll say that. The book's selling in VG minus at uh, $10, VG minus $13. So, you know, I'm going to sell it at like, uh, I don't know, I'll list it for 15 bucks. See what happens. Um, I have one more good one. I know this is turning into insaneness, but I have another good one we should look at. Okay, guys, this is Fantastic Four, King Size Special number four. Basically, it's the first appearance of Quasimodo, uh, the first Golden Age torch in the Silver Age. This book is from 1966. It's very frustrating to me because this book is clean, super clean. But what happened? Why am I upset? And and some people don't count it. Some, it looks like someone taped the spine. Why? Why did they do that? I don't know. Maybe people did that back then. <laughs> to, see? I mean, look at the back. Spine. They, there was tape there. Or there still is tape. I don't know if that's what tape looks like after 50 years. I don't know. But the book, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm so upset, okay? It, this is a key book. It can sell for a lot of money. Wait till I show you this. Dude, it's white pages. Look at the quality of the, in here. This book is so clean. This is Kirby, dude. This has got to be Kirby. Let's see here. Dude, Jack Kirby. I don't care what anyone says. The interior of this book is incredible. So I was looking at the staples. They're fine. Why did the guy tape this book? Ooh, I want to just kill this son of a bitch. Look at that. It's perfect in there. Wow, what is 1966? So that is 52 years. Look at dude. Hulk and Thing are fighting. I wonder what, what? They're fighting in here. I have a real tough time with that, this book. So, you know what? I don't care. The pages are so nice in there. This book is selling from all different angles. VG is, you know, 15, 20 bucks. I don't know. I have to really look at this. I'm calling it, I don't know how the tape hurts this book or not, but I'm going to call it, dude, I don't even care. VG plus if when I show people the pictures of the interior on this book, it's solid. It lays flat it. Yeah, you got this tape thing, but it's a perfect book. Dude, I don't see any tears and I've never seen an interior like that before on, on a book this old. It's like brand new in there. I just don't get it. So I'm just going to leave it up to the people I'll, on the description. I'm going to put, uh, you know, really interior is incredible. Minus the tape. It could be fine condition, fine plus. Um, so I think I'm going to put like 25 or 30 bucks. Because this is a tough one to grade because of the tape. I'll have to look into it. But it's such a nice book. I mean, it's gigantic. There's so many pages. So again... I'm going to stop here because this video has gotten out of control. Um, but this is how I do it. I go through it. I check the prices on eBay. I grade the book myself. I give some leeway. You know, grade it a little lower so people are happy. And uh, that's it. That's how I do it. Um, I'm going to start doing more key books. Most of my books on eBay are signed or like 
very high priced art and stuff like that you guys really come take a look i'd love you to come look at black xeno on ebay there's going to be a link in the description i'll put it in the video as well come check me out i think you guys will like what i have there okay have a good one thanks for watching